Hello, amazing art students. I wanted to jump on here and share another wonderful book by Diane Alber with you. It is called Splatter, and this is my big splatter right here. Um, so fun. They're a lot like scribble with the big eyes and, and um, stuff, but this is Splatter, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Splatter. This is a story of a colorful crew made from paint splatters of red, yellow, and blue. Each of them had an artistic flair with splotches and blotches and spiky wet hair. But this crew was different from most you'd see. They each worked alone, not together as three. One color per drawing is how they each play, never knowing there could be a much better way. Then one lovely morning, Red gathered the crew and said with excitement, let's try something new. Instead of us painting so far apart, why don't we work on the same piece of art? They loved the idea and yelled, we're in. What do we do first? Where do we begin? Where they were so happy they could all finally agree. Then Blue shouted, I'll go first, follow me. He began to create, but got carried away, painting raindrops all over so the rest couldn't play. The other two grumbled, this just isn't fair. We sat here waiting while you splashed everywhere. But Yellow decided not to be so glum. He still wanted to see what they all could become. So he grabbed some fresh paper to start something new. But when he began, he forgot to rest too. He made a bright sun that filled the whole space, not seeing the frown that formed on Blue's face. I wanted to play too, he complained with a pout. But each time we try, it just doesn't work out. I'm so sorry, Red, I know this was your dream. But as you can see, we can't work as a team. I know this is hard, Red said, but don't quit. We must try again. Please get up, don't sit. I know this will work. I believe in our crew. We'll make something great and we'll have fun too. I've got some more paper, Red smiled and exclaimed. When we finish our painting, it will surely get framed. We can do something simple. We can use all our powers. Have you ever tried painting a garden of flowers? Yellow and blue always paint the sky. A garden was different and they were quite scared to try. Red tried to help and said, it's easy to do. If you can paint circles, you can paint flowers too. Each petal's an oval, a circle stretched long. Now paint a whole bunch. You just can't go wrong. So they built up their courage to give it a shot. It's easy, said Blue. It's like painting a dot. Yellow was pleased and high-fived his friend Blue. And to their surprise, they created green too. Soon, they made orange from yellow and red. Then violet showed too when red and blue spread. Next came indigo, a, a deep navy hue. It happened when violet dashed quickly by blue. But something was missing. The sky wasn't right. It was missing some color. It just it was uh, all just so white. So blue filled the sky and yellow made the sun and together they cheered, wow, teamwork is fun. Look what they created when they all worked together. The art was so beautiful and it was better than ever. So guys, the moral of this story is teamwork makes the dream work. Guys, we can make beautiful things when we work together. And even though this time right now is really hard with us all being uh, apart, not at school corporately, 
um, if we all work together, we can make this work and we can make it uh, be really good. So I do miss y'all. I love you and I hope to see you soon. Bye guys.